Hi guys, so today I'm going to be giving a life update and the possible future of this channel. Um, so the main thing that has been going on with me for the past, well at the moment it's it's seven months, uh, is that I'm pregnant. Some of you may know I did make a video about it not that long ago in the, in the summer, um, but some of you may have missed it which is fine. Um, but yes, I am pregnant and I will be giving birth um, well, hopefully I'll be giving birth, hopefully it won't be a c-section um, in December. So basically what this means for the channel currently is that uploads may change, okay? So I have actually scheduled a lot of videos in advance, so all of December has been covered, there will be videos in December, right? So there may even be a video uploaded on the day that I've uh, given birth to my child. Um, <laughs> but, but these videos have been filmed well in advance. Um, and the videos run from um, the ones that I've scheduled are, you know, there's some in, there's a lot in all of January as well, so they've all been covered. So there will continue to be uploads. But after January, there may be some in February too. I'm not sure what my upload schedule is going to be like. Okay, obviously, you know. And maybe it may be that I cope really well and I can get work done, or it may be that I absolutely cannot. <laughs> okay, babies are very um, time consuming and they can all be very different. It might be the case that I have a very easy baby who sleeps a lot, <laughs> who feeds well, you know, that kind of thing. Or it could be that I have a baby who has colic and they're just screaming a lot of the time. So I don't know what that's gonna look like when February comes around, but there will be videos up until then, okay, up until February, okay, well, the end of January. There may be more after February, it depends how long I can continue making videos right now okay at the moment i can still do it relatively easily but i am getting very breathless as each day sort of passes as the weeks go by because currently i am now uh i'm 30 i think 30 weeks 31 no maybe 31 weeks between 30 and 31 weeks okay so i haven't got too much long left of my pregnancy um so so that's what's going to happen with that okay so how can you reach me then? Like if you have a problem um, and you need coaching with me, you can still email me and uh, you know purchase email coaching through the website. But just be careful in December because you know don't, don't be too worried if you haven't heard from me. I I will get to you eventually. Um, because you know I could be having a baby. Oh, emails are obviously a lot easier for me to 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 manage and to do while holding a baby. So I will still be responding to you, but please do give me time if you are purchasing coaching from me in December. There will be a coaching option that will disappear, which will be the, the tailored video. I will not be making tailored videos for people, which are obviously, well, first of all, let me just explain to you what a tailored video is, because not a lot of people choose it, because it is the more expensive option. But what basically it is, it's a private video that no one else sees, just for you, which is in the style of my YouTube videos like this one, for example. So if you're interested in that, you can still do that, but it will disappear um, mid-November, mid December uh, and January, okay? Because I will not be able to do it in those times, okay? But the email coaching, the emergency email coaching and the regular email coaching is still available, okay? You can still get those through the website and I will get back to you, but please do give me some time, but I will prioritize you, I promise, than other people, okay? So that's how you can reach me during that time. Okay, if you have a quick question, you can still email me normally, um, but make sure it's a very quick question. I don't have time to answer um, really long emails from people who want advice from me for free anymore. It's something I used to be able to do like a year or so ago, and maybe even a couple of years ago too. But recently I'm not be able to do that because of the volume of people that are paying for coaching and I always need to prioritize them. And unfortunately, sometimes I can't get back to these people that have sent me really long emails for, you know, wanting my advice for free. So if, if you want to have coaching with me, then the best option to pick is email. Okay, so emergency email or the regular email, but again, just please be aware that it may take a few days for me to get back to you, depending on if I'm in labor. Like if you pick emergency coaching, I will obviously prioritize you, okay? But if I'm giving birth to a baby, right, you'll know because I won't get back to you probably in the allotted time that is given in the emergency email, okay? So that's very important to know, okay? But maybe I will, maybe I'll be okay, <laughs> who knows? 
okay? But I will get back to you as soon as possible, okay? And I will obviously prioritize people that have paid emergency coaching to the regular email coaching, okay? So now that I've told you basically what's gonna be happening with the channel and with my coaching and things like that, I wanna talk to you about my pregnancy, okay, essentially. I'm not gonna talk to you about my child because, (laughs) and I'm never, we're going to talk to you about my child because I don't believe in putting children on the internet. I'm not going to turn into a family vlogger or anything like that. It's something I'm strongly, strongly against. You should not be putting your children on the internet. You people are crazy that do that, okay? So, and I, I genuinely mean that. If you're... And anyway, it's a whole, it's, I have strong opinions about children being on the internet. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I want to talk to you about my pregnancy, okay? Because it's something that I've been wanting to talk about. And you may be interested in it, you may not be, but in case you are interested in it, right, then stick around for the story. So my pregnancy pretty much remained uncomplicated um, until about 20 weeks, okay, which is where I found out that I had a uh, low-laying placenta, which means that it may be the case that I have to have a C-section, okay. Um, now, it may be at 20 weeks, there was, there's still plenty of time for the placenta to move. And I don't actually know yet because I haven't had another scan yet to see if the placenta has moved. Hopefully it has. Hopefully it has. Um, but that was the first sort of complication that made me think, okay, maybe I won't be able to actually give birth naturally, which I've always wanted to do. Okay. So the next complication came around about 24 to 25 weeks of my pregnancy, which is about over a month ago now. Um, and that was finding out <clears throat> that I have gestational diabetes, which means that um, for whatever reason, the placenta isn't producing enough insulin. To so that means my my blood sugars go high. It probably means that my baby's blood sugars go high. Um, luckily, I've been able to to monitor it and to be able to work with it just through my diet and exercise. So I don't have crazy levels of glucose uh, when I eat and things like that. I'm just very careful not to eat carbohydrates and sugar and things like that, things that release sugars very, very quickly. Um, but what that means for the pregnancy is that my baby may come early if they're, if, if they're too small or they're too big, okay? So it may be that my child actually comes in November because my I am due mid-November, uh, mid-December. So it could be that my baby comes actually the end of November or maybe even a little bit earlier than that. I don't know. So it's made the pregnancy more complicated and it's made things a lot more up in the air because usually what happens in normal pregnancy is that a woman you know if she's not having an elective c-section or something like that um, what usually happens is a woman goes to full term and you know 40 weeks basically and the baby comes naturally after that right um so it, it, most of the time as well um women are given at least two weeks over their due date so that means like 42 weeks the baby can stay in there for that long um, and but if it goes over that, that's when a woman may get induced or have a C-section. Okay, with gestational diabetes, they won't let me go past forty weeks and six days, which works out to be like around Christmas. Okay, um, so it's very difficult to know what's going on. So again, that may affect the channel because if I have a C-section. The recovery for that is a lot longer than natural labor. So I'm just going, trying to keep you guys in the loop with that. But but the, the pregnancy has been very complicated and it's got more complicated as it's progressed. Um, but luckily, right now, I know that my baby's fine. I'm fine. Um, but that may change as I get more and more pregnant, <laughs> as, I, as I get more and more bigger. Because I have heard, like, I, yeah, right now, currently, I'm able to monitor my sugar levels and my sugar levels are fine I can I'm diet controlled when it comes to my gestational diabetes and uh yeah everything's okay at the moment but I don't know it may change tomorrow it may change next week I don't know and I may be putting you know put on drugs for that like insulin metformin um so if things can be very it's very up in the air so it's a it's quite an anxiety provoking time for me it is anyway regardless um for me uh, because I've had a previous loss. Um, I did have a miscarriage uh, last July. Um, and that was very, very tough for obvious reasons. That's why you see a rainbow here as well. It's not because I'm gay and I'm, I'm a lesbian that we were like, oh yeah, it's put a rainbow above our baby's crib. No, that that's to symbolize a rainbow baby, right? It's, I'm not trying to indoctrinate my child into the LGBT movement or whatever or anything like that. 
So a rainbow baby is a baby that you have after a loss if you're unaware of it. But some of you may be if you've had children and you've had losses yourselves, right? And it's very tough, it's very difficult. But it's also a blessing when you do get that baby that is well, right? So that's why that is above the bed, because that this baby that I'm carrying is our rainbow baby, because it's a baby that we've had after a loss, okay? Um, so... So I'm trying to figure out as well how the baby, how I will continue the channel after the baby comes. So it may be that you don't hear from me much in February, and then I can start uploading it maybe in March. But it's very, very tricky to see what's going to be happening, right, with the channel. But I will do my best to keep up to a schedule, some kind of schedule, to help you guys out um, with the issues that you may be having in your romantic lives. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you would like to help the channel in any way, please watch all the ads, <laughs> go through my old videos. So for example, if <laughs> this is a bit cheeky of me, but you know, if, if, if for whatever reason the uploads stop, please go through old videos and just keep the ads playing, please. <laughs> and obviously a way that you can actually help me as well is by purchasing email coaching from me too. Like if you do have a problem that you feel like I could help resolve for you, then yeah, please do reach out to me and email me. Um, and, and purchase email coaching through the website because that will really obviously really really help bring in income <laughs> while I'm unable to bring in a lot of income so it's a bit cheeky of me to say but if you do want to help th those are the ways that you can do it watch the ads don't skip them and um, and purchase coaching with me if you'd like to but if not just just watch the ads please <laughs> okay <laughs> all right so thank you so much for watching if you would like coaching with me then you know where to go www.christineloverage.com and i shall talk to you guys again very soon bye, -bye.